Hello to everyone, Maggie. Now, <laughs> awesome. Tell us what has happened with your gridding here. How have you done okay, it? First of all, don't grid two o'clock in the morning, but I tried to get this too long picture into a square onto a square canvas and I thought okay let me chop it off there and work it out there and then just add this little extra space at the top. I actually tried not to put my, my main focus in the middle and I come I stuffed it up but there it is. <laughs> well it's not quite in the middle. It's actually okay if you put something behind it which you're yeah. planning to do anyway. So you said I should put something there to yeah. make the like this. Exactly. exactly. Okay, okay, so I'm going to hand over the video to you yes. and let's work out this formula. Okay, so if you find yourself with a rectangle and you want to put it into a square, there are a couple of ways of doing this. You can take your photo and you could fold it, of course, and try and find a square oh, that yes. fits in there. That's one option. Another option is if you want that whole area in, you're either going to have to, like Maggie did, create an area of the canvas you can use. Um, so to work that out, what you would do is you would take the measurement of this little area, this area, the length of this, of your image size, and you would divide that into the image size here. So this here is 20. And this here, that was sorry, 25. That's 25, and this here is 50. Now, it doesn't normally work out that well. It doesn't normally work out half. Normally, it's 2.3 or whatever. Anyway, so this is what you've done. You divide that into that, and you get 2. So then you'll take this measurement of 20, and you'll times that by 2, so that you know that if you take this and you put 40 into here, that is the correct size of your canvas. Excellent. So if you find yourself with a less than square size, you need to still take the longer side, which is this side here, and that works out to be 16.5, and you divide it into here. All right, what did we work out? Um, 2.5. So this goes into 50, 2.5. Is that correct? No, that's 20. Sorry. Yes. That's 20. Yeah. That 20 into 50 goes 2.5. So then I would take this measurement here, which was 16.5, and times that by 2.5, which comes to 42 41. or 41 something. Mm -hmm. So then I'd take it and I'd either take off there, and that means I've added some like this little, this little, some extra space. Yeah, yeah. this little um, dog will be sitting there. Or else, I can take some space off there and some space off there, as long as the main image sits at forty-one point okay. five or whatever it is. Yeah. So you could decide where you want to place the gridded part of the image, and then you grid. So you've cut, you, 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 the way you can block it off just to make it easier for your mind is actually put tape there so that you can actually see where your grid section is. Then you draw your grids. Either you can half and quarter, or you can thirds, however you feel comfortable with doing it, as long as you do it the same way on your actual picture. Okay. And then your canvas size is exactly the same as your image size. Excellent, thanks. Right.